everybody welcome back to the channel it is your girl angel baby and i am back with another video please make sure you like subscribe and you want to hit that notification bell so that way anytime i drop a video you will be notified and also everything in this video is either alleged my thoughts and opinion and or my perception in the above entitled action find the defendant or job Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of penal code section 187. Seems as if Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco are weighing in and they have a strong opinion about Caitlyn Jenner and her little tweet. Yeah, that tweet, good riddance, hashtag OJ Simpson, that came in not even a couple of hours after the news came out of OJ Simpson's death. Caitlyn Jenner took to Twitter to say good riddance. And let me tell you, Ocho and Shannon were not having it. And they clapped back, let me tell you. They had to let it be known that that was not cool. And they had to remind Caitlyn of some things that she might have forgot about that might just sit her down and put her in her place. But Caitlyn Jenner mm -hmm. um, tweeted, very tacky, very distasteful. Yes. Basically, what it said was good riddance. No matter what you think of someone, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ocho, mm -hmm. you don't celebrate someone's death. You, you never do that. Jenna mm -hmm. also had an issue. 2015, fatal car accident. Killed somebody. What? Right, no, on. Hold on. What, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no hey. you didn't. Yeah, no, don't, she don't. didn't. Yeah. Now, everything in that OJ, we, people allegedly... He mm -hmm. killed Nicole Brown Simpson yeah, yes, sir. and Ronald Goldman. Yes, sir. He went on trial. Mm -hmm. 12 men and women, mm -hmm. a jury of his peers, mm -hmm. says we don't believe he did it. Yes, sir. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Right. They acquitted him. He went to trial on the civil charges. He was convicted. So you mean to tell me there's no denying that at the hands of Caitlyn Jenner, mm -hmm. someone lost their life? Mm -hmm. so yes, sir. So how would she feel? Now she did she I don't if I'm not mistaken I don't recall her spending any not one day in jail. Yes, sir. But you yeah. you you say good riddance. You happy yeah. for the death? You know God don't like my grandma used to always say when I was a little boy, Ocho. Mm -hmm. God don't like ugly. No. Sometimes he don't like pretty. Yeah. You and you never be know. Careful. You, you got to be careful. That's right. Grandma used to always say God don't like ugly, and he ain't too fond of pretty either. Now, there was one thing that Shannon Sharp did say to me that really stuck out. And he said that Kaylin or Bruce at the time did not spend one day in jail over this incident. And I'm thinking, well, if it was just an accident, then why would Kaylin need to spend a day in jail? You guys, I went back and I did some research. And after all my research, I agree that Kaylin was at fault. And Caitlyn, in my opinion, there should have been some charges against Caitlyn. But there wasn't. Because according to Blair Burke, which was the attorney for Bruce at the time, says that the district attorney says that any charges, even a misdemeanor charge in this case, would be very inappropriate. Here's a whole breakdown on allegedly what happened. Now, it's being said that Jenner was driving a black Cadillac SUV on February 7th. That was the third vehicle involved in the multi rear in collision okay now police have said that kimberly howe um the one that was driving the lexus she was hit from behind okay jenner bruce jenner hit her from behind sending her into oncoming traffic and then she was hit by another suv and when she was hit by that suv she was unalive you guys now, the Los Angeles uh, County Sheriff's Department it did investigate, and they said that they found, after the investigation, that Jenner was driving slower than the speed limit and slightly slower than the victim's car. So, what they're saying is about four seconds before the accident, Howe hit her brakes and slowed down. That's when Bruce lifted off the gas pedal of the SUV, which was towing a dune buggy. Jenner applied brakes for 1.5 to 1.9 seconds before the SUV hit the victim's car. Now, someone wrote something on Reddit that I thought was very, very important I wanted to share with you. It starts off with, surely there was some punishment for this. Then they go on to say, we can clearly see that Jenner is in the wrong here. 
anyone that disagrees shouldn't be allowed to drive regardless of whether or not the lady peace be with you kimberly in front brakes anyone driving should know not to drive too close to another vehicle and keep back to a distance they can safely stop if the vehicle in front of you suddenly stops this distance is typically increased significantly for larger vehicles and further if towing a load according to this allegedly jenner was driving way too close and she was also or should i say he at the time was also towing a doom buggy now the families of the victims they did sue bruce in this case and they did reach a settlement you guys it was for an undisclosed amount now the thing that really really caught my eyes you guys besides the fact that the lady kim was hit into oncoming traffic another thing caught my eye there was a lot of victims okay so there was one car that had at least four people in it but the thing that was crazy to me y'all there was a one month old baby boy that was unresponsive y'all when they got there that is crazy unresponsive out now that car that had the baby in it y'all that was unresponsive that was actually the car that hit kim when uh she went on into traffic and was unalived now the victims they did release a statement that was in the lawsuit they said the emotional effects of being involved in the collision that has taken the life of another has caused tremendous distress and suffering for the wolf slash miles family that's sad so when sheriff investigators determined that jenner was traveling at an unsafe speed for traffic conditions and they take it to the prosecutor they decline they said it's inappropriate to file any kind of charges against um caitlin bruce I don't know in my opinion me knowing all the details now about the traffic accident it really does just change my mind at first i was thinking like you know it was just an accident which i'm pretty sure that you know it was but it was like by the negligence of caitlin so that's why the two are being compared so what shannon sharp and ultra single are saying that there's no doubt that you were involved where someone was unalived for OJ, it was just an accusation, which he did go to trial for, and he was acquitted of it. So that's where the correlation comes in at. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinion on the whole situation. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys. Go, go, yo, go.